Hello, folks. Welcome again to another podcast from Hobo Tom as far as the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Show. My name is Hobo Tom. It is a Thursday night. Are you Russian? Oh, let's see here. That is the Budweiser Freedom Reserve. It's like the Killian's Red of Budweiser. I'm here to talk about beer. I'm here to talk about SmackDown Live. A um, couple of notes. Um, I have been a little behind. I've been kind of busy at work. They wanted to beat me up. I am behind in making videos and sending out shout outs. Shout out to Pam. Thank you for subscribing. Connor G. You know what? It's not just Connor G. It's Connor G. Baby! Baby. So, quick little clip for you. Little Adam Cole! Baby! Baby. Shout out for you. At the end of this video, again, I do like that little bonus feature. For those that either comment or subscribe, especially if I know you subscribe. Oops. Again, thank you very much, Connor G, for all your comments. Made during my anniversary live stream again. It was my first live stream. I think it went very good. Probably going to do some more. I know this next one will probably be in about four weeks. As far as other projects, I'm doing a little bit. Um, I have no idea when NXT's coming back. I know they're going away, but for some reason they don't have the month of September scheduled. And it'll probably be sometime in September, I think I'll see them again. I think I might go to a SmackDown Live show. Not this coming Tuesday, because they're in Tampa, I think next Tuesday. I want to say it's August 7th, I think. And I might go to that. I might go to Monday Night Raw. That depends on a lot of stuff. But... Always your mind on where you are. What you should be doing. Again, sage advice from Yoda. Big Star Trek geek. Yeah, let's talk about SmackDown. About what I should be talking about. This was fun! I mean, there weren't a lot of matches, and the ma the matches were, were... themselves weren't good, but they kind of told a story. And a whole conglomeration of what's going to happen for SummerSlam. So it's kind of one of those things where you have a piece of ham. And a piece of ham by itself is a piece of ham. You put some cheese on it. A little mayo. Two slices of bread and you have a ham sandwich. So again, it's kind of a whole conglomeration of stuff that happened that really made the show fun. I mean, the, the matches weren't great, but it was a fun show. It was more so than I can say about Raw. I mean, SmackDown just seems to go by so much quicker. So let's start off. First, you have Miz and Reese getting on the limo. Then you have Randy Orton delivering his heel promo. And I love it when the wrestlers break KK and it's like, you know what? I'm not the legend killer. You fans, you dirty drunk fans are the, are the legend killers. And runs down the audience. That was fun. Then you have Rusev Machka. For, it was Rusev Day. Versus Andrade Skin Almas as. Aligo. Tranquilo. Lo Sombra. That's the one I was thinking of. And then it was Rusev Day versus Tranquilo. This was a kind of fun match. Again, whenever there's a clash of styles, whenever you have the Lucha style versus just the true Bruiser style. It's going to be a good match, and it's, and it's going to get a cheeseburger. And it was fun. Again, you have the Clash of Styles, you have Lana getting involved, and it teases a little bit. And I might be looking ahead into the booking, but it would be neat to see a Rusev day with Rusev and Lana teaming up against Andrade St. Almas and Selena Vega. That would be good. Again, just sh sh send me a shiny penny. That's all I ask. One shiny penny from, from Vincent K. McMahon. I'd be happy. Again, Rusev was great. 
again, teases. Hopefully, a mixed tag match. Rusev can sell and no sell. Really good. I think in one part of the match, Amos slapped him in the chest. Rusev just like. Nothing. Go ahead. You're not going to tell me to put that beef away. <laughs> Still one of the best lines by Roman Reigns. Again, the distraction for in English tries to make the save. Again, cost use of the match. And the Seen Alamo spins again. This is good. Hopefully they can tease things, especially if it's a mixed mag challenge or an intergender match. That would be fun. Ooh, a dark match for a SummerSlam. You have know, R-Truth versus Samoa Joe. Mm, I hate to say it, but I will always... Samoa Joe. But it was a squash match. It's a ham sandwich match. It does kind of advance storyline, especially with Samoa Joe, and we'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. I think... Our truth entrance was longer than the match. Daddy, daddy, I like to party. He took that from Public Enemy. Slyboy Rocco Rock and Johnny Grunge. I remember them. I'm trying to picture of them. One of these days, I'll have like, editing capabilities when I'm not too busy. Today, I went over to go see my girlfriend. Took her out shopping. Fun time for everyone. And it, it, it was an okay. It was an okay match. I mean, our truth started strong. Didn't last long though. Small Joe just finished him off. Again, kind of a squash match. Then you have an Oscar promo, which led to Oscar versus Billy K. And I, again, I, I hate to do it, but it was really. Another ham sandwich. I don't know if this is going to save for a while. But I, I think really the only reason why this match was a ham sandwich was because it was a, it was a glorified squash match. Oh, Asuka did come out with a new mask. I mean, it's good, I mean, it's good wrestling and, and good talking from Billy Kay. I mean, she's good. She's good all around. Especially when she's allowed to do what, what she does best. And Pan always tried to be a distraction. Be it not happening. Tried to be a help. Not happening. And Oscar went over. Just a kick to the head. Which made it look vicious. Let's see what's good. Now things are right. So again, it was, it was good though, but it advances the story. It, it, it teases stuff. It teases the woman's tag. It's going to tease what Asuka's going to do. Hopefully, probably not for SummerSlam, but it would be at the Survivor Series. She might challenge Becky Lynch. That would be fun. And then pick up the belt there. On page. Page came out for again another promo. He would actually got a little bit more color or not, or, or didn't do the makeup too much. And it looks healthier. And talked about uh, the woman's evolution. Again, AJ Styles just comes out. He's just phenomenal. Phenomenal baby. Oh, there's only one baby. And that's Adam Cole, baby! But, and it was good. Ellsworth gets involved. Ellsworth thinking it's Chase Seth and fired by Paige. And then mentioning that he did beat AJ Styles. Then AJ just kicks James out. Then Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe! Comes out. Signs the contract! Which is going to be an amazing match. If they did this right. This could be a flaming young match at SummerSlam. If they were really smart, this would be the main event at SummerSlam. Instead, we all know we're getting 
Lol, Roman Reigns, and Brock Lesnar, my client. Yeah. So, and then it should be good, though. Again, this was a good. It sets things up. Then you had Becky Lynch versus Carmella. And, again, this was actually a really fun match. I mean, Carmella's getting better and better all, all the time. And, I mean, what the... What, is this what I think it is, folks? It's a cheeseburger-style match. It's a cheeseburger-quality match. Again, really hard to screw up a cheeseburger. And this was fun, though. Um, Carmella, again, she's just keep on getting better. Becky's so good. Um, Carmella's just had a really good heel. And Becky, hope now, now she has a shot for the title at SummerSlam. The only issue I have is that, and it's a mixed bag because they're, it's, it's so far apart. I think it's like four more weeks until SummerSlam. That's just a lot of filler stuff, and a lot of wonky things can happen, can happen in there. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. Just some weird stuff. Then you had... New Day! Rocks! Versus Sanity, who still needs Nikki Cross. And actually, I forgot to mention on Raw, I think they teased Nikki Cross coming. Because she was on stage for the Women's Evolution. And this was fun! This is what it should be. And... See here. Rise! My wizarding ways. A cheeseburger! This was a cheeseburger match. Yeah, it was fun, though. I mean, it's exactly what you would think of a match between New Day and Sanity. I mean, with New Day, it was um, Xavier Woods and Big E versus Eric Wolf and Big Demo. Oh, Killian Dane. I'm sorry. I, I, I forget. I go back and forth. And I have a funny story about that. I'll probably talk about it in my next video. When I met the girl with the shiniest with wizard, I met the girl with the shiniest wizard. I'll post that picture later as well. Thank you very much, Nixon Newell. I know you who you are now. But you'll always be Nixon Newell to me. And that was a kind of cute story because she was very sheepish. She's like... And I guess uh, I'll, 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 I'll save it for later because I'll dedicate the picture to someone else. But again, I met the girl with a genius wizard. Although, if she walked into my store with a girl with a shiniest wizard t-shirt, her merch, I would have no idea who she was. Especially if she didn't have a very, if she didn't have a very thick British accent. She had a very plain. I mean. Nothing that you would really know as being British. But, again, back to the match, though. Again, this was fun. I mean, they just... The, the Usos were there watching the match, eating pancakes. I mean, just doing commentary. The Usos are so good. I mean, there's good action. I mean, there's both distractions and interference on both, on, on both sides. It was fun. Again, it was a classic cheeseburger match. And then, the bar, 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 bar. Comes up. And then they're, they're making their claim to the tag titles. And hopefully Seamus is all healed up. I know he had neck issues. Cesaro, I, I think, was a little bit beat up. But they do need time off because I think they do work like 250 days out of the year. That's, that's pretty brutal. I don't even think I do that. And they call me in twice a week. Only two days I, I have off, Christmas and Easter. And they didn't have Christmas off. Ooh. Everyone should have Christmas off. Hooray. And then again, it closed with a Miz and Maurice moment. Sin Caro was going to be a babysitter. He, he looks so excited about being it, too. I don't know what the thrill is, because my girlfriend and I kind of had that discussion. It's like, like, do you want to hold the baby? I'm like, because her sister had, hadn't had a baby. And I'm like... No, they're, 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 they're poopy machines. And, and it's not my kid, and they're just weird, squirmy. I don't know. It's just not my thing. Maybe it's a guy thing. 
guys, let me know. Do you like holding other people's kids? I don't. I don't even think I held my nephews and nieces when they were kids. I just suplex them into pools. And, and feed them cotton candy. In fact, just you wait, boys and girl. Next Easter, you're getting a cotton candy machine. Use that right now. Maurice looks great for just having a kid, though. I'll give her that much. Daniel Bryan comes out, though, fights his way through the... the again, you have, well, kind of the preface to this. You have Miz TV going on. <laughs> Miz comes out with, with, with a baby chair here. Dan Daniel Bryan fights his way through the velvet rope and freaks out because... <laughs> Miz tosses him a fake baby and then just runs down Daniel Bryan. So it's using I'm stupid enough to bring my child to this... I forget the exact word, but, but, but cruddy city. Runs down the city, runs down Daniel Bryan. Again, makes a great promo. That would, this, should, this should be a WrestleMania match. They should just hype it up, get, uh, put the belt, and it could be the U.S. title. And Daniel Bryan from Randy Orton as Randy Orton goes on his legend killer spree. And Daniel Bryan versus The Miz at WrestleMania. Book it now. Hobo Tom called it. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Again, I've had kind of a weird week. Probably, hopefully on Saturday I'll be able to get to my Lucha Underground review. I do have one video from that. I am not forgetting SMG Martin. Ooh, the other guy who left the camera. I have to send him a video. And I'd send Pam a video. Release picture. We'll add it something. Again, if you like, share, comment, subscribe, and you're public about it, you will get a shout out from Hobo Tom and a video in your honor. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Again, if you're going to drink, stay at home like Hobo Tom, or have a designated driver, and don't drink the bad stuff. Drink good stuff. Good night.